Pickleball World is buzzing about the new Gen 3 paddle lineup from Yola and for good reason. We've seen players absolutely dominate on the PPA Tour with the Alpha prototype models all year and the production versions are finally available to the public and they slap. Yola launched the same three shapes and thicknesses they had available in their 2023 launch with the 14 and 16 millimeter Perseus, Hyperion, and Scorpius. And this year they added the Magnus shape for their new signee, Tyson McGuffin. We will get into each shape and who it's for, but we have to talk about the main reason these paddles are the talk of the town, the new propulsion core. Let's take a deep dive. The team at Yola took the structure of their best-selling Gen 2 paddles and added a new component to the construction process that allows the paddle face to store and release more energy than almost any paddle on the market. They did this by adding a layer of foam in between the foam-filled carbon fiber perimeter, common in thermoformed paddles, and the honeycomb core in the center of the paddle, allowing the components to move more freely, similar to the string bed of a tennis racket. If you want some proof, just listen to the sound they make. Like lowering the tension on a guitar string, the pitch of these paddles is deep and can sound hollow. Now, just like in tennis, lower tension on the paddle face paired with a stiff beam on the perimeter creates a more powerful piece of equipment. Because the additional foam layer does not surround the entire core, and it's not a complete floating core, the honeycomb still retains enough stiffness to offer control on softer shots. But the harder you swing, the more flex you'll get, allowing you to ramp up the power when you need it while maintaining some sense of control in your game. So the paddles hit like a freight train. So how are you supposed to keep the ball in the court? Well, this new core does allow for some more dwell time or time the ball spins on the paddle face, and that gives players more access to spin, making it easier to bend the ball back into the line. On top of that, Yola continues to include their charged carbon surface, which is their version of what the industry calls raw carbon fiber, to give players access to even more spin, which the paddles desperately need to remain controllable. Now, aside from the face and core, the 16 millimeter paddles fall around eight ounces, while the 14 millimeter models are closer to 7.8, making these accessible weight-wise to most any player. Swing weights range from the light and maneuverable 14 millimeter Scorpius at 108 to the more head heavy and powerful Perseus 16 mil at 119, which is still really low compared to other options in its class, leaving plenty of room for weighted tape customization or adding some tape around the edge to protect it. Naturally, the wider and thicker models feature higher twist weights, making them more resistant to rotation on off center hits, which makes them better options for players who need a little bit more forgiveness, like myself. Now, besides the Magnus, all of the shapes feature plenty of room for two-handed backhands. Let's dive into the different shapes so you can decide which paddle is gonna be right for you. So in their second generation in 2023, Yola launched their version of a standard shape paddle with the Scorpius and it was an instant hit with pros and amateurs alike. Now, while it fits the standard, standard shape, and it's 16 by eight inch dimensions, the team at Yola gives us an elongated five and a quarter inch handle that realistically measures at five and a half inches, giving players like Anna Bright plenty of room for two-handed backhands, which we love. Like the players they were built for, the two Scorpius models benefit two specific play styles extremely well. The 14 mil Anna Bright Scorpius is the most maneuverable paddle in the lineup. It also has the second highest lateral stability. This makes the paddle a dream for hands battle specialists that love to start fights and dig their way back into them, which is a pretty exact definition of how Anna Bright plays the game. Players who value hand speed and maneuverability will love the AB Scorpius. And if you want to really step up the firepower, add some weighted tape on the perimeter like her, and it's gonna help you out. The Colin John 16 millimeter model still has solid maneuverability, but the even higher stability makes this model a resetting and counterattacking machine. As one of the best right side specialists in the game, Colin needed a paddle that helped him use his tactical defensive play style to get to the kitchen line and then punish poor speed ups and high dinks once he got there. Players looking for this in their own game should choose the CJ 16 mil Scorpius for the best results. 
So the Ben Johns Perseus 16 was one of the top selling paddles of 2023. And the Gen 3 model has a good chance of following in its footsteps. The Perseus shape is elongated at 16 and a half inches with an extended five and a half inch handle and a squared face. With the highest power potential and most reach of the lineup, the Perseus is a natural choice for Ben's game as he covers most of the court. And he opts for the 16 millimeter option for its increased stability and predictability in his tactical game. While most players looking for these attributes will choose the 16 millimeter model, single specialists and aggressive players who prefer to swing more freely and shape shots from anywhere on the court may prefer the 14 mil option for its higher maneuverability and ball feel that can help them make those shots with tight margins even on full swings. The first generation Yola Hyperion CFS is still one of the most popular paddles on the market and the team at Yola wisely kept it in the lineup for their third generation. Even though its specs are incredibly similar to the Perseus, while still technically an elongated paddle, the Hyperion shape has a rounded top that moves the center of mass further down the paddle and brings the sweet spot with it to create a more central and slightly more forgiving hitting zone. Along with that sweet spot shift, the lower center of mass also creates a lower swing weight, making the Hyperion a little more maneuverable than the Perseus. While this may impact the plow through a tiny bit and on paper should be a little less powerful, we never felt that we needed more power with the Hyperion. Yola Pro and legend of the game Simone Jargin prefers the Hyperion and both she and Ben Johns have signature editions of the paddle. Now a question we often get is should I choose the Hyperion or the Perseus? While both paddles have similar performance, I recommend the Perseus to power players and those who prioritize reach and the Hyperion to those who want those attributes with a balance of forgiveness on the lower half of the face as well. When you bring the most electrifying man in sports to your team, you better have a paddle that can match that energy. And the new Magnus shape from Yola does just that. And I have a feeling it was Tyson himself who insisted on that neon pink aesthetic. Modeled after his paddle shape of choice, the Magnus fits a more niche player, featuring a shorter five inch handle and an extra elongated face. As a player who uses a one-handed backhand and is known for exceptional hand speed and consistency, Tyson prefers more face than handle. And though I actually use a two-hander, I found myself having a blast with this shape. I tried the 14 millimeter model and felt like I had the maneuverability of a standard shape paddle with the reach and the elongated. Two-handed drops and dinks definitely felt cramped, but my one-handed backhands felt nimble and natural enough for me to get by. Players who don't really use a two-handed backhand may feel wary to try a paddle with such a short handle, but I'd encourage them to try the Magnus and see what its forgiveness and maneuverability can do for their game. If you watch this long, you may be aware that the power of these paddles has caused some controversy in the pickleball world. Like the popular Gearbox Pro Power launched last year, the Gen 3 series from Yola sets a new bar for power performance in pickleball. We'd love to know your thoughts on these new paddles and their power potential in the comments below. With great power comes great responsibility and many amateur players will love their new put away skills but will struggle to control the ball. Players with good fundamentals already will be able to unlock shots their equipment would not let them hit before and leave their opponents stunned. These are the new kings and queens on the block for power performance and just like on the PPA Tour, you'll be seeing them atop tournament podiums and challenge courts across the globe moving forward. So earn rewards and some awesome extras by purchasing any of the Gen 3 Yola paddles at pickleballcentral.com. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. We'll see you out on the courts.